All right, guys. Uh, <clears throat> I'm going to have to start writing some new fucking blogs for the month of October. September was a big fucking luxury for me because I was basically chilling. I did uh, all the fucking blogs early on for September, so I didn't have to worry about no bullshit, nigga. My creative juices made this the first month where every week was jammed having blog posts. Which is how it should be anyway. Yet, uh, what I wanted to talk to you guys about was the fact that I don't get pissed when people start saying PC shit. Like on Twitter, I saw that the Icelandic government said that their economy is doing well or something like that because they put democracy before banks. Now, I don't know about you. Maybe they were talking about the healthcare system, but I doubt that. I don't know about you, Dill, but, uh, that's fucking... If someone in the United States doesn't bullshit like that, now granted, we kind of put the banks above everything else in some way. Boy, they. A coon. And a maroon. Uh, you probably didn't get that reference. That's like 2005 YouTube right there. Regardless. The problem is simple. I don't get mad about shit like that because I know that if you don't support democracy, niggas like Barack Obama are gonna start sending their drones and tanks and high school or drop college dropouts up your ass to like start shooting on you and shit. You gotta verbally support democracy in some way, shape, or form. That's why, I mean, have some non-aristocratic Republican elements. Even shit like Britain, their monarchical structure is very, very fucking, it's more of a republic than anything else. But I'm not, but I ain't worried about nothing, man. Like, fascism, communism, that's mostly gone now. My friend from the Marines worried that we we're gonna go to fucking war with North Korea. I'm like, they got missiles, we got missiles, why the fuck would that shit happen? It's really dumb, but just cause everyone from that base was just talking about what was happening little secret messages and stupid shit like that yeah they're <laughs> we're really heading that World War 3 route because this forcing everyone to be a democracy shit doesn't fucking work so when I see people were trying so hard to scare nations to turn on the little lefty democracy Sean I don't feel fucking bad for it sure some of them actually legitimately believe this shit and they're indoctrinated and uh, not even indoctrinated some of these people are scum of the earth but who cares I don't blame them I mean what's happening in the Middle East should let you know that since we're fighting to make the world essentially praise this really crappy ideology it's really ironic and I really do think that mold bug is an inevitability he truly is now I may not be a fucking fan of mold bug but I'm always referencing him in a positive way or in a negative way 
Yet I know that he's a net positive if you utilize him the right way. Some of my friends came back to God via Nietzsche. Can you believe that shit? It's... I mean, that's pretty crazy. But also with Holocaust denying. I don't get annoyed when people from Europe, especially England and UK, diss Holocaust deniers. I mean, why should I be mad? You could get arrested for that shit. I'm, I'm not going to call you a good boy. I'm not going to, like, laugh at you, call you stupid. I'm, I'm going to be like, okay. I mean, even Newman. Newman does, like, install a lot of reactionary viewpoints, especially the more stupid ones. And he also, like, he, he disses a lot of that kind of shit. But I'm not fucking mad at him. I have respect for him. He's a long-time subscriber. I don't know why. I mean, we're friends on Facebook. We, we're, we're, we're cool like that shit. And uh, when he says that, uh, he said one thing. I don't know if I should be talking about this, but he said that, uh, 50% of all Holocaust deniers are dumb, yet 75% of all Holocaust acceptors are dumb too, so... But what does that say? It says that we got a lot of shit to deal with in this world, so I, I'm not that critical for guys like them. Um, it's also why... As a, in my libertarian days, when I basically, and I still dislike the child support system, or and the welfare system, I still fucking hate that shit and the way it's being run. When I said that shit, since my mom was raised on welfare, and she put my dad on child support, so he was paying 75 bucks a week, I said, hey, I don't agree with that shit. And that pissed her off. She thought I was going to give her a fucking high five for agreeing with that. She's for supporting that. No, I don't. I don't like that stuff. And uh, our money is tight. Resources are very, very limited, and uh, you should contribute a lot more. If the guy's in my life, I see him. I got you. I got a really good relationship with my dad, man. He's like my top five favorite people. How many guys can say that? That their dad is like their hero. And it sucks what's happening to him, too. Like medically, but that's just a fucking woman. So, yeah, if you're reading this, if you're seeing this, dad, yeah, you're. You're my hero, man. Like, but, like, that's the thing. I'm not going to be mad. If you need that system, I'm not going to be mad at you for dissenting, necessarily, per se. Now, if you're going to be a stupid dick about it, then, yeah, I may... At my Jimmy's Russell, but I'm a laid-back guy in general. You'd have to be the biggest fucking dumbass to get me pissed. To get me seething in anger. <sighs> Hold on. Mm. This is a better way to do crunches, because if you like have them like this, uh, you're gonna start to hit flexors and your body's gonna be shit. But uh, 
Other than that, you, it, it fucking works, man. This has been Mr. Wonka 7, and... I want you to caress the head of my penis. Alright guys, chill. Peace.